All right, here we go. Let's make this look a little more like a campsite. Let's put our flag up into the ground and twist it in. There we go. That looks great. Hey, Peach and Scouters, Justin here. And as you can see, today I've decided to spruce up our campsite a little bit by putting up a flagpole to display one of my favorite patrol flags. As you can see, to put up the flagpole, I tied a round lashing and then I stuck it deep down into the ground. It seems pretty strong. Well, that shouldn't have happened. Huh, that's all right. Let's just put it back upright. And there we go. All right, that feels a little better. All right, let's let it go and whoop. Huh, I don't know about you, but flagpoles aren't supposed to fall over. Hmm. I wonder if there's any scout books that we can go in that would give us some guidance on how to make sure our flagpole stays upright. Well, for the time being, we won't need this anymore. All right, let's turn to the Pioneering Merit Badge Handbook. The Pioneering Merit Badge Handbook, as I've said before, is one of my favorite scouting resources. Let's see what we can find. Ready? Pioneering, 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 pioneering. I found it. The masthead knot. It says here that the masthead knot is a knot to use when erecting a vertical spar that must be held in place with guy lines or when attaching guy lines to the top of a pole. Well, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to erect a vertical pole and then put guidelines on it so it can't fall over. Huh. Have you ever tied a masthead knot before? If you haven't, that's okay. We're gonna work on it together today, all right? If you're following along in your pioneering merit badge handbook, which I sure hope you are, you can turn to page 39. If you're not, you can follow along with me. I'll go real slow. All right, let's clean up a little bit and then we'll get started on our masthead knot. I'll see you in just a few minutes. Hey, Peach and Scouters, Justin here, down here in hand view. For tying our masthead knot, I thought it might be a little easier to give you a bird's eye view of exactly what we're doing. So let's get started. The first thing we'll need is a piece of rope, about three to four feet long. Then we're also going to use some paracord after we tie the knot to allow us to tie guidelines from each loop we make down to a tent stake that we put into the ground so we can keep tension on the flagpole. The final thing you see on the table, you probably recognize. This is scouting's best friend, duct tape. I know that it's not conventional to use duct tape when tying a knot, but in a few minutes, you'll see why it's important for this knot. Let's clean up a little bit and get started. The first thing we're going to do is let's straighten out our rope and lay it flat on the table. There we go. Now we're going to tie three underhand loops in our rope. So let's go one and two and three. There we go. That looks great. Now let's take this half of loop number two and place it underneath loop number one, just like that. Now let's do the same thing with loop number three. Let's take this half and place it underneath loop number two. There we go. As you can see, we still have one, two, three loops, but they're underneath each other. This is where our duct tape comes in. Let's take a small piece of tape and then right here on our center loop, let's tape that center loop to the table so it can't move. You'll see why that's this is important as we go on. Now, let's start at either end of our knot and let's count in towards the middle. One, two, three. This third strand from the outside is the strand that we're going to use. We're going to work with each one. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna overlap them. So let's take the piece on the right and place it over top of the piece on the left, just like that. Now, we're going to continue going over and under as we go towards the outside of our loops. So this side, we went over. So now let's go under. And there we go. And this side went under. So now let's go over with it. And there we go. At this point, you should have a knot that looks something like this. Now to finish it up, let's take this side that went over and go under and this side which went under let's go over 
And just like we're tying our square knot, let's pull just these together. And there we go. Okay, as you can see, now we have one, two, three loops. To make our fourth loop, we're going to take the two ends and tie a square knot in them. So let's go this way and this way. And there we go. Let's pull it tight. Perfect. So now we have one, two, three, four loops. Let's take our tape off. And now we're going to dress the knot. What we want to do is we want to make these loops larger and this loop smaller. So first, let's pull on these. And there we go. Then let's pull on the outside. And there we go. We just have to work it in. Each time we pull, the center hole gets a little smaller. And there we go. Perfect. Now, as you can see, we still have one, two, three, four loops, and our hole in the center has gotten smaller. This hole in the center is where we're going to place the pole from our flagpole. Then we're going to cinch the knot tight around it, and to, to use it as a guideline, we're going to take our paracord, and we're going to tie a guideline from each of our loops and run it down to the ground, connect it to a tent stake, tie a taut line hitch, and cinch it up tight. That will make sure that our flagpole is nice and sturdy. So, let's go over to the flagpole, put it together, and see what it looks like. Thanks so much for stopping by Hand View. I'll see you over at Flagpole View. Look at that! This looks great! This is a perfect masthead knot! As you can see, each of the four loops of the masthead knot are coming off of a different side of the pole. From that loop, we've used our two half hitches knot to tie a guideline on, and then we've run it the whole way down to the ground, pounded a tent stake in, and then we tied a taut line hitch, which allows us to keep tension on the pole. No matter what happens, if it goes sideways or back or this way or that way, we can tension it up and make sure it's strong. So, much like all of us who have been stuck at home for the last 30 days, this flagpole isn't going anywhere. I think that even when all this is done and you come over and visit the campsite, I think you could bring your patrol flag over and we could fly it from this flagpole. It'll still be here. So, until next time, remember to stay safe and stay scouting.